This is the highlight of the trip for me. <laughs> we just arrived in Chromatica, which is an open bar Halloween event. It has won several prizes of the best Halloween event, and it's the first time for both of us. I'm really intrigued to see how it's like. Yes, I can't wait for this. Just waiting for the event to start, so just having a little look around the shop at the moment, which is open. It's quite cool stuff in there. Yeah, they have really cool stuff. We tried their beer. Their beer is really good. That was probably the best start for a Halloween event I've ever seen. It's going crazy, we're all running in. The atmosphere here was so cool. I didn't want to actually want to go to the maze, I just want to walk around. Every night is sold out here, it sells out so quick. The maze is filling up really quick, we just need to get in them. We're doing this Halloween tour. We've been to Toverland and moved to Park Germany, this is our third day. The other two events we needed to pay for a maze, this is entirely different. This is a separate event, it's from Europa Park, but it's not inside Europa Park. It's a separate gate. You pay to get into the event and then you can get in all the bases. It's seven of them. You don't need to book them, you just queue. We just got in the queue for the first one. The hill. That was a brilliant start, that was so good. There was this story, it was really immersive. There's a lot of kids that's been taken, you've got to go through the woods to go and find them. And the characters and the creatures were also different and unique. There was all the smoke effects, loud music. It was so well done. It, the set piece was fantastic, but I loved it. There was a lot of jump scares. There was this moment that I was really nervous. They didn't have it pitch black, but there was flashing lights. I thought it was even worse because there was a character that every time the light went off and on, he was closer to you, they got me terrified. But it just, it was the way it wasn't constant flashing, it was delayed. Uh, so yeah. you stayed in the dark. But yeah, I loved it. I thought it was great atmosphere. Now we are going on the murder dome next. We walked straight on, on the hill. Everything else in the park should be between 30 and 40 minutes at the moment. Murder dome is on 10 minutes. I think the hill and the murder dome, they are two ever so slightly out of the way. That's where we have got a bit lucky with our start tonight. The hill, we didn't queue at all for it, was a walk one. All of these mazes, they have a backstory. Traumatica recommends that you read the story that you can understand. And the story is going on all the years before. Each maze has a story as well that you can read about it. And then it adds more to the story of the whole event. The maze that we did now is the most unique thing that we ever done. It's on the so Halloween cool. event, it really was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, as a maze. Because it was like a shooting game that you receive guns, you need to work as a team with your group, killing all the characters that come towards you. And I usually, I hate shooting rides, I really don't like them, but this, because it feels something so real, I love this experience, I thought it was amazing. Oh, it was great fun. Everyone had like targets on them, or the zombies had the tar targets on them, and they were really good actors. So they were getting right in your face, and they were getting your fa like one of our group's face, and we had to shoot him to get him off. I thought that was great. And then right at the very end, there was the chainsaw jump scare. That was the chainsaw. I, mean, I got poked in the arse of it, so. <laughs> And chase me all the way back to the front and all the way back to the end again. Inside it, you don't have many jump scares. Yeah. It's mostly the tension of where are they gonna come from, yeah. but it was mostly like in the end. I thought it was really good. I've never done experienced anything like that. <laughs> no one knows this maze is here. Now we're gonna do Unknown, which is a maze that is outside the area of all the other mazes. You have the stage on the beginning and then all the mazes are on the right and then there is this on the left that is actually inside of a park so we're just by pegasus at the moment at the back of poseidon we did the unknowns it's basically like an alien team it feels like 
bike is disconnected for the rest of the story of the other mazes. It's quite cool, it's interactive in a way. They tell us that we need to activate something. What was your experience in activating well, stuff? I put my hand in the hole and I'm, I'm, all, I'm all gooey and sticky. I pulled it out and it's all gooey. <laughs> so you're meant to, you're meant yeah. to find the lever to get you out the door and that's yeah. why it was good. And you have to put your hand in and some stuff has gooey and some stuff was water. Mine has this weird spiky thing in. Oh, I didn't like it. it. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have the courage to touch it. This one was a traditional maze. It was really good though. You didn't have anything yeah, well, unique well, or well, different, well, but I think it was really well done. Had a few jump scares. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that happens here as well. Yeah, I thought there was a lot of jump scares in there that was quite good, and some of the masks and the props were really cool. Yeah, there was this time the massive skull just come out of nowhere, but with the lights that they had, everything looked so real. It was really, really good. They have the silver bullet bar here, they sell this beer for like only 5 euros. And they do have people selling them throughout the event as well. You can come here and see, we just got the beer to the queue for the next maze. You get the cups that are an extra 2 euros and you can turn them at the end of the night, but I quite like them as a souvenir. All the queues now for the remaining mazes are about 1 hour. We managed to do 2 of them with no queue at all. The yeah, but the other one is still on five minutes. It's ridiculous. It's like people don't know that. Now we're joining the queue for the tarot house. We're just gonna face the queue now because there's only three mazes left and all the queues are gonna be about over an hour. So what's really cool, there's some actors going up and down the queue making us do all these weird things. It's really cool that I've not seen enough scary actors. This one woman was making us kiss a pumpkin. It's already descended into chaos. We've gone from being scared to being forced to kiss pumpkins. I just wonder how many people have kissed the same lips. I just did. Sometimes they just come and jump scare us. I think it's absolutely brilliant and it's keeping us all entertained while we're here. I really enjoyed the Tarot House. I thought it was really, really good. Yeah, it's alright, there's some cool scenes in there that's quite good. It's also a traditional maze, but they have this smoke side that was my favourite. It kind of feels like walking on water with the fact that they do. You don't see anything except for smoke. That was good, wasn't it? Is that with a freaking laser beam? Yes, <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. There was some really good jump scares. There was a jump scare, there was a wall full of leaves, and then there's someone hiding there, covering leaves and jump on us. That was really good. Probably my favorite jump scare. Really, really good. They have this food cart here with all these food trucks. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff. Everyone's got like mac and cheese and burgers at the moment. Everyone has eaten and they've all said the food is amazing. Now, I think it was the worst one by a long way. It was fucking dreadful that was. So half of our group think it was amazing. Half of the group thought it was one of the weakest. The half that was in the front was getting all the jump scares and actually getting the actors and seeing things. We but got the... nothing. We got no actors. We saw absolutely nothing. And it was just walking through scenes that didn't really make much sense. So even the scenes were not very good. The set pieces were not very good. Sometimes you can do a scare maze and not see many actors and you can be like, wow, that looked really cool. With that, you didn't even have that in there. I thought it was good. I wouldn't put it like one of the top ones, but I would say that it was very good if you can get the actors. As what I read about this story before, I was expecting something a little bit different. So you start on an elevator going down and then you're going to the floors after and it didn't feel like it had much of a story when you're actually on the maze, aside from this of going on to different floors. So we've got one maze left, let's go. 
I thought it was really weak. I thought it was weak, but I liked the ending. They kept having all these random rooms that you go and you get lost, you end back up in the same room, and you kept going around and around and around, until eventually you get the right room and you can get out. James is still stuck in there, so they kept grabbing us and throwing us into the wrong rooms, and they kept sending us in that around in circles, and then I came out and they picked up my t-shirt and was waving it around in front of everyone, and then they put it back in the bag and then he just dragged me out. That part I think it was quite unique and I like it, because you go into this round room with a clown in the middle and it's all chaos with you just see everyone coming through all the doors and you're like what's going on that part i think it was cool but the actual maze i thought it was kind of weak overall i would rank that second to bottom on the mazes my favorite mazes today was the hills i think that was brilliant because i like the unique characters that they had after that i would have the one with the guns the murdered dome i think that was so unique i loved it then third I would have the tower house. I would put murder dome at first just because I had so much fun going around with the guns and playing the game and I felt so immersive and I never seen this before in any other Halloween event. Now listen, we've reached our finale act for this evening and I don't know what your plans are tonight but I do know there's a midnight show over at Silver Bullet. The event now just ended and they have on the bar here a show that is going to go on until a little bit later. It's kind of like a music show with performance, dancing. It looks quite cool. They usually have a nightclub on the station for Poseidon, which is one of the coasters in Europa Park. But this year they said that they're not going to have it, which I'm so disappointed. I know, they said they're renovating it and I don't know what that means, but that was one of the things we were most looking forward to. But they do have this bar open this year and it's going to come back for 2025, they said, and it's going to be better than ever. So that will be really cool to look forward to next year. About the event itself, you pay to get in, starting on 42 euros, the ticket for the event. And then you have access to all the seven mazes and some extras as well. We didn't have time to do it, we literally left the last maze after the event was already ended. It was enough time to do all the mazes, but we didn't have time to do the extras. So they have two coasters in Europa Park that are open and you can enter just to go on these two coasters. One of them is Pegasus, which is just a family coaster. It doesn't fit the event. I just think it's a little bit weird, isn't it? I think it? it's just because it's there. They yeah. just kept it open. Matterhorn is the other one, but we never saw that open. We didn't even go near that roller coaster, so we don't know what's around there. They have a couple of VR experiences as well. Some of them are upcharge, some of them are not. They do have VR on Cassandra, which is the madhouse from Europa Park, and I really wanted to do that, but it was free. But unfortunately, we didn't have time. But I would, I was really intrigued to see how that would be like. I wanted to see a, a madhouse in VR. I'm not a big fan of madhouses, so doing one in VR would have been really cool. So overall, I really recommend Traumatica. I think from the second we came in, it felt so much more bigger than the other events, and I really liked that. I felt that it felt small, and that's only because we've just done a load of Halloween events in theme parks, and so everything's been spread out all over these different theme parks, where it feels very nice and compact in here, but it is still very large, but just feels small because of how we've been having a walk from in Toverland, for example, one side to the other, and that's quite a distance. And I think it really helps, because when we're doing the Halloween events on the parks, we're not even doing rides, except for maybe a ride that is all lit up for Halloween or have something special, like Troy on Toverland. Our focus is the mazes, and it really helps to have all of them right next to each other, because it helps us just rush from one to the other. I think it really works. This event is amazing. If you enjoy Halloween events, is definitely worth doing. Do you think it deserves all the prizes that it got for being like this amazing event? I think it deserves some prizes, yes. I don't know if it deserves all the prizes for the best mazes, but they did have some really cool experiences. Yeah, I agree with that. They did have some mazes that were a little bit weaker than others that we did on Toverland and Movie Park, but in general, as an event, I think it was incredible. Really feel like this massive event with the shows, with all the, the extra experiences. Tomorrow we're going to a holiday park, so make sure to subscribe to check their Halloween event next.